Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. This is Cougar and we have another episode from my BespokePost.com series. We got a new package in here recently and uh, here we go. And you can see this is a reasonably sized package. Pretty, pretty decent sized. The last one was pretty decent sized as well. And uh, as you can see to the front of it, it says toast. Uh, now, of course, no, we are not talking about uh, toasting bread or anything like that. Uh, this, of course, being part of a, uh, a line of products that are generally geared towards kind of the gentleman in your life. Uh, of course, I do know some women who would definitely like something like these, especially what this one is. Of course, I know what this this uh, box is supposed to contain, so we'll go ahead and get into it. All right, and here we go. Now, uh, as you can see, this is based around cigars. Now, I am not, and I will tell you right now, I am not someone who condones smoking. I am not an advocate for that by any means. I, uh, I actually made my own mother quit when I was a child because I couldn't stand it. Cigars are kind of on a different level. Cigars are a once in a while indulgence kind of thing. And it's not done like a cig cigarette is where uh, you know you inhale the smoke and things like that. At least not commonly. Some people do do that, but it's very rare. It's more of getting the flavor. To sit there and indulge once in a while, I can't fault anyone for that. If you are someone who likes cigars or anything like that, you may find this useful. You might like this. Uh, I do know that uh, some people in my family, my cousins, my uncle, uh, have, have smoked cigars and they do like things like this. So hopefully they get a chance to watch this. Anyhow, let's get down to it. All right, here we go with the card. Now this does give you some basic information here. It says, A Novice Smoker's Guide to Cigars. So yeah, I would be somewhere towards the novice range. I have sm smoked a couple of cigars uh, in the past with some friends for special occasions or whatever. Uh, and here it does tell you some different things. It tells you how to cut them, how to light them, I, and, and how to smoke them, actually. It's not just, you know, suck it in and, and go for it. It also tells you about the ash. The ash on these is actually uh, somewhat specific as to the way that you run it and everything. It tells you different sizes of cigars. It tells you about the humidity level and things like that. Uh, they talk about smoke protector. You have a hydro hydrometer, a hydrometer, and then you also have a humidor, which is, of course, part of this package. And here we go. This is... Uh, the card that came with the cigars and these are the there's actually though it shows a bunch of cigars across here there are two different types this thinner and this thicker one here and you can kind of see that through the bag uh, they are the Romeo and Juliet 1875 and the H Upman 1844 reserve both of these have uh, two different characteristics. Let's go ahead and get into that here in just a minute. I'll go through some of the other things that are here. And then when we go over the cigars, I'll give you some more specifics to them. Now we do have, of course, obviously this cloth bag. And uh, so, you know, you've got that for some storage. Uh, then we've got these two pieces here. Here's your hydrometer. And uh, of course, that's what's going to keep the proper humidity level for your cigars. And then you have a leather pouch here. Now this leather pouch, as you can see, it has a little fold over top to it. And uh, it's not very big, granted, but that is big enough for two cigars. The nice thing about the leather, it will help, at least for a short while, keep the humidity level uh, to the cigars, uh, you know, kind of at the range that it should be, for a short time at least, better than just leaving it open and out in the air. So here we go, we have this humidor, and uh, it is made to have a very nice seal around the outside edge. It does. It is very firm to open and close. It does have this kind of reddish, burgundy kind of color to it, and it is not absolutely solid color. It does have um, the wood grain texture to it. It's just very even, so you don't have a lot of darks and lights to it in terms of uh, the coloration. And uh, it does say that it is by quality importers there at the bottom. So now what we've got on the inside here 
is of course we have the do not eat packet so do not eat it uh, and then we have the humidifier so the humidifier of course is the uh, well actually the humidifier is going to be I misspoke earlier going to be what uh, keeps the moisture levels at the right at the right level whereas the hydrometer will actually tell you what the moisture levels are they do have a, a sticky here at the back here's the humidifier you can see what that is um, commonly if I understand correctly you take these you wrap them in a wet cloth for a certain amount of time so that it can absorb the moisture of course definitely follow the instructions that came with this they would be part of the cards there uh, as to how to do that but then you would apply this to the inside lid here of the humidor now according to the documentation the size of this is supposed to be set for roughly 10 cigars now that can be uh, adjusted accordingly because of the idea that you do have obviously as you can see here different thicknesses of cigars now we'll go ahead and pull these out and uh, I will end up putting them back in here uh, until I set this up but uh, we'll go ahead just so we can see what these are so let's let's see what we've got going on here we have of course the two different cigars like I said one is the Romeo and Juliet uh, Julieta I, I did say that incorrectly. It's Julieta, 1875, and then the H. Upman, 1844 Reserve. The, uh, let's see, the characteristics of these. Uh, this one here, the shorter, thicker one, is uh, the Romeo and Julieta, 1875. Now, they say that it is a dark gold color. Uh, it is a medium body. The aroma is rich soil, oak, and lemongrass. So those are kind of the smells that come off of it naturally. Uh, when you're uh, chewing or smoking it, it uh, is supposed to have notes of almond, cocoa, pumpkin, and butterscotch, which those some of those sound pretty good, especially the butterscotch, cocoa, and almond. The pumpkin might make an interesting flavor uh, kind of kind of blend there. And then the way that it finishes is uh, clean, balanced, and complex is the way they put it. Uh, they do say that a good pairing for this, so when you're smoking your cigar, the drink of choice that you might want to have. For beer, you could have a good German Pilsner. For wine, it's, they suggest a Zinfandel. If you're going to drink a liquor with this, they suggest an American whiskey. And if you're going to have a cocktail, they suggest a mint julep. So there you go for the Romeo and Julieta. Uh, the H. Upman 1844 Reserve, obviously a much longer cigar. This is uh, you know, going to take a while to smoke. That, and that's one thing, uh, if you guys don't know, uh, cigars are meant to be smoked all at one time. Uh, once a cigar is lit, if you put it out and try to relight it, it really changes the chemistry kind of of the cigar uh, because of having been heated and cooled uh, already. So that's something that you do want to take into consideration if you do end up, uh, you know, smoking a cigar at any time. Now the H. Upman, they do say that is it is a dark mahogany color. The body is medium to full. The aroma is coffee and cream, dry fruit, and leather. So definitely a different, a different aroma to it. The notes are sweet cream, coffee beans, and subtle spice. And then the finish is balanced, long, and complex. Now, uh, obviously, the, the uh, finish on both of these is actually relatively simple with both of them having balanced and complex finishes. Uh, Obviously, this one is a long finish versus this one has a more clean finish, uh, being the difference between the two. Now, a pairing for this one is for beer, they say that you could get an IPA, would go well with this. For wine, you would want something like a Merlot. For liquor, you would want a rum, which is right up my alley. Rum is one of my drinks of choice. And for a cocktail, they suggest a mojito. Anyhow, guys, 
I don't know how soon I will be able to smoke these. Uh, if I'll even smoke them at all, I may end up giving them to, maybe I'll give them to my cousins or, or my uncle or something like that. Or maybe I have a friend that might want to have them instead. This is definitely a wonderful humidor. Uh, so even if I just give away the cigars, I could keep the box and it is definitely a wonderful box. Uh, a nice, nice wooden box with a, uh, a very nice finish and everything. Um, seals very nicely so it can be used for uh, a lot of different things uh, for storage and whatnot so you know and then of course we do have the leather holder uh, worst case scenario if I don't use it for the cigars it can always be some type of uh, pen holder or something like that all right guys well this is world of me and another episode from the bespokepost.com series I am Cougar and uh, if you guys would like to check this out and, and uh, look at the Bespoke Post uh, product lines, go ahead down there in the description below and I'll have uh, the link for it down there. As well as when you're down there, check out our social media. As you're heading down there, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It tells me that you like our content, would like to see more, and uh, you know it does help me and the channel out a whole lot. As well as, you know, if you guys take a look right over here or just below, there is that link for the subscription. Go ahead and hit that uh, World of Me logo that's down here in the corner and you can subscribe to World of Me. It'll let you know when new videos are coming out as long as you have it set up. And, uh, you know, you can uh, see all the new things coming out on World of Me. Anyhow, I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will see you later. Bye!